Hello, welcome to Luminance Audio, KST150 SE Special Edition version. I'm Rick Schultz from Virtual Dynamics. Now, many of you know me from Virtual Dynamics Audio Cables, and I've had an opportunity to get Virtual Dynamics Audio Cables throughout your audio system, and I've had an opportunity to be able to see how it's uniquely different. Well, I come to you with a brand new product called the KST150 SE. The KST150 is a product that we've been part of for several years now. I manufacture and market this product with two partners, Mike Singh and Steve Kaiser. Now, Luminance Audio is a completely separate entity to Virtual Dynamics and is not part of the Virtual Dynamics company. It's owned by um, my, my, partly myself, but two other people that are not involved at all in Virtual Dynamics. However, the key person behind Luminance Audio is a gentleman by the name of Steve Kaiser. Steve Kaiser is a brilliant engineer, has come up with a circuit design for the KST-150 and the Inspiration Amplifier. The KST-150 has been an amplifier that has received a number of reviews and had just a glowing amount of, of um, praise set forth. Um, things said about this amplifier that basically have been almost a little bit hard to believe. Uh, Sam Telling in one of his issues talks about the amplifier and basically states that $18,000 that this amplifier ought to be a marvel. And at $3,000 it was kind of ridiculous that it, we could hit that price point. The, the $4,000 version, which is the new version now, has uh, some upgraded parts and um, is something that we invite you to look at for a real value-driven amplifier if you want to stay within a, a budget under $5,000. It's definitely what I recommend, just the stock standard KST-150. Prices changed slightly for us to be able to improve some of the components and bring this amplifier to another different level for you. Now, you're, if you own one of your current KST-150s, you can also have one of your current KST-150s upgraded. <clears throat> the KST-150 SE was an amplifier that I took on myself. I started to work with the KST-150 and to see how far we could push that circuit. Now, I'd have to tell you that of all of the amplifiers I've ever had a chance to hear, the KST-150 was one of my favorites. The thing that kind of held me back was the price point at $3,000. I always believed that when I had a $20,000 amplifier, it ought to be better. So I would, I would get lost in, in listening to some of the more expensive amplifiers that I had. But whenever I came back home to the KST-150, I always felt that it just had the ability to be able to reproduce music, render it cleaner and faster than anything else that I was listening to that started me playing with the circuit inside the KST-150 and trying to develop some of our own technologies or take our own technologies of dynamic filtering and speed of light into the amplifier. So what we did is we've actually made the first audio product available in high-end audio that takes the ideas of dynamic filtering and speed of light and applies those technologies directly into the amplifier. Now, of course, on an amplifier, we do a little bit differently than we do on a cable, but the results are absolutely profound. The other thing that we've done is we've went through some of the circuits and we've upgraded key critical parts to some of the very best that I could find. This amplifier now comes in at about an $8,000 price point. Of course, it's far more expensive than the regular standard Martian, about twice the price of a regular KST-150. However, I have to appeal to you that I have not ever in my life heard anything quite like the KST-150 SE. Now that's quite a statement to be able to go on and advertise publicly that I'm saying that this is an amplifier that would compete with anything at any price. But that is truly what I'm telling you. I believe that this amplifier will take the industry by storm. The original product that Steve Kaiser was involved in was an incredible success, the, the B&K ST140. This particular amplifier, the KST150 SE, I believe will ha share a similar type of excess, success to, to that uh, amplifier that was launched um, by Steve Kaiser and his partner so many years ago. This amplifier, I believe, will set a new benchmark for audio reproduction and clarity and understanding that the way that an amplifier functions, its electronic design, is absolutely critical to getting the music right, to actually being able to bring that live experience home and have it reproduced in your audio system. Now, of course, the KST-150 has always been a perfect complement to virtual dynamics. Now we ask you to take a chance on a recommendation that we're making to you on the KST-150. I'm urging you that even if you have an amplifier that may be twenty dollars or $30,000, take an opportunity to listen to a KST-150 SE and do a comparison. Just listen to the music. Listen to what comes out. And I think that you'll agree that this amplifier belongs in your home and belongs with you listening to music. 
It will increase your enjoyment of listening to audio. It will increase your ability to connect emotionally with the artist that you're listening to. I'm Rick Schultz. Thank you.